Anyways, I'm pumped to talk to you. I've had a lot of casting directors on lately, and I feel like I've gotten a lot of great feedback from people that listen because oh, cool. we don't hear from you guys that much. Unless we get an audition, and then it's very limited, our interaction with you, ultimately. I know, unless you come in our office. <laughs> right. But even still, I feel <laughs> like we chatty. come in, and then we leave. Oh, <laughs> oh no, no, are we... you guys very chatty? We are. <laughs> okay, that's good to know, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you know, unless we're really behind. <laughs> but generally, yeah. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. That's good. I've. Do you guys try to make it a point to make actors feel welcome and warm oh, 100%. And, and comfortable and loose? Yeah, yeah always. That's... Al- always. I mean, because you can't. You can't get the best audition if someone is super nervous or right. uncomfortable or, and you know, um, Dorian created this, this sign, um, years ago and it's a, a no apology zone, which I think people have tweeted a lot and it's out there and it's basically, uh, you don't need to apologize if you need to start over, if you get a word wrong, like this is a place of, of, um, welcoming and encouraging creativity. And yeah. so, you know, we don't, it, you don't have to apologize if you get a word wrong or if you get. If you need to start over, I mean, it happens. Yeah, I love that. I mean, why apologize for something that is so easily forgivable? Right. And it's nerve wracking. Like, Absolutely. we get it. Like, auditioning is nerve wracking. And so, you know, we try to really make it a place where, you know, you can come in and you know it's a place where you can come in and it's okay. And it's like, you know, you can come in, you can ask your questions, you can do your thing. We'll tweak you if you need, if we think it needs a little bit of a change. or And we won't tweak you if it's great. Like, we'll be like, that's it. That's great. We don't need another one. Yeah. So. Do you have any advice on that? Like, for actors, it's so, I mean, I can only speak to myself, but it's, especially theatrical auditions, they don't come regularly for the majority of us. Sure. I mean, maybe one every couple months or something like that. And so, to us, we're taught it's just another audition, but realistically, it's not. It's a big opportunity. Yeah. Do you ever give advice on how to, like, just take it as just another audition or... You mean like how do you just like how do you, throw it away more? How do you, like yeah, how yeah. Do you how do you get over so the gravitas? Yeah. Well, I think that I mean, I everybody is different, so everybody's going to have their their nerves or whatever. Like I would be. That's why I'm not an actor. Like I, what actors do is so impressive to me. But um, Brian Cranston said something once that I saw, and it was like, that is great advice for actors. He said, you know, for the longest time, he used to really like beat himself up and he would, you know, be like, oh, you know, oh no, that was, that was terrible. I did a great, a horrible job and, you know, really hard on himself. And once he started to realize that his job is the audition, is preparing for the audition and going in and doing the best that he can do, be the most prepared. And when he leaves, he throws those sides away and he said, I did my job. Right. And when you do that, he said, when he did that, that's when the work sort of started to come, when he started to go like, All you can do is go in, be the most prepared that you can be, and then you leave. You throw those sides away and you go, if I get it, great. If I didn't, I did everything that I could to get that job. Right. And so I, that's how I feel like you don't have to be off book, but you have to be prepared. You have to have some choices made. You have to have an idea of what you want to do and go in and do it. And if we want to change a little bit, if we think it's a little bit off from what we're looking for, we'll, we'll tweak you. Yeah. But I mean... It's hard. I mean, it's just, it's, some people are just going to be nervous regardless. There was yeah, a, that's a, true. a series regular on Saving Grace who um, was a very nervous auditioner who is phenomenal. And he was, he was just like, I just, I, I don't audition well. It makes me so nervous, but he was so brilliant. And I, I literally said to him right before we went in with like studio or something, I said, you know what? Like, we love who you are. You are who we're looking for here. Like, yeah. just come in and be yourself. Right. And he was, he said to me three years later when the series was ending, he's like, that was the best advice that anybody had ever given me. Like, I really, that was, that was amazing. Yeah. And it was, and he was, he's so lovely. I love him so much. I haven't That's seen awesome. him in a long time. Did, do you, does that happen a lot, though, where you can clearly recognize when it's, Nerves get into them rather than they're a bad actor. <laughs> oh, for sure. And then you do you forgive that often when you see it's nerves? For sure. Like, for sure. Like, n- everybody has nerves. Like, yeah. it's not... Sometimes you just, you know, like, shake it off. Let's just all, you know... Like, just... It's it's cool. We can run it once. Let's do just run it and, and give it a shot and throw it away. And then we'll do it. A lot of times if we run it, though, we might tape it because it might be the best. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> 
You never know. Like, it could be You're a like, throwaway. We'll just do a throwaway. We're not going to tape it. Tape it right now and then go. I mean, because what if it is the best one? Like, oh, what yeah, if yeah. Like, they're going, oh, it's just a, it's just a, a run through. And, yeah. and, but what if it's like perfect? Yeah. So we will tape it. That's, I mean, that's, not always, but usually. That's smart. It's, uh, I'm going to reference somebody who is polarizing, but it's like Howard Stern. Howard Stern always ends his interviews by saying, all right, that's it. And then he asks a bunch of follow-up questions, and that's when he gets the best mm-hmm. stuff from people. Right, they because they think they're done. They think they're yeah. done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they just relax. You manipulative. You're manipulating us. I love I it. I mean, I don't. We're I puppets never on think strings. of it that way. We're, I don't think of it that way because it's so, it's so not that. Because, again, also, it's really just like, we just want to give everybody the best shot. Right. So, you know. And, that, and that's all we want, too. 